Hi guys. Today is your daily uh, for the 21st of February, uh, Thursday, 2019. Uh, the first card that I got is the Five of Swords. So, Five of Swords, for a lot of you, means somebody may be putting their weapons down, may be putting uh, their emotions or anger to the side. Somebody is deciding not to fight anymore. Um, again, and this is for air signs, first of all. If I didn't say that in the beginning, um, with the Five of Swords, I do feel like things can definitely get better from here. Uh, there is going to be blessings in disguises, uh, meaning things that you weren't expecting uh, to come forward. I also feel like there is going to be uh, a lot of things that are going to create uh, new things for you, new challenges, new outcomes, or better outcomes. You know, with the Five of Swords, um, it, it definitely is a card, um, so to say, that speaks uh, of a man who is uh, very um, co convenient. I'm sorry, convenient. And um, he has a convenient yet a contempt on his face. You see it? You see his face? Now, when you look at him, he has other swords in his hands, right? They're the swords that he took from somebody else. Um, the other people are definitely walking away. You see the difference where he has the swords and they are walking away from him in a slow type of manner. They're not running, but it's a sense of loss or sadness. So somebody is definitely realizing that they are defeated in a situation. Okay, when you look at the sky which is cloudy, indicates that not everything is well, despite the fact that the battle's over. But if you look at the sky, it's, you know, it's, it's not a happy sky. There's not big, bright sun shining here. So it's saying that even though a situation may have ended for you, air signs, even though arguments may be done with, maybe lying and deception is over with, but there was no winner here. So for air signs, nobody really won, okay? Nobody really won. All right. So the next... Next card I pick up for, for today for fire signs is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so fire signs, you have the Ten of Wands. That is your card for today. Um, with the Ten of Wands for February 21st, fire signs, I do feel like somebody is definitely uh, still holding on to something from the past. Um, it definitely feels like there is... Um, somebody's refusing or denying what's what's happened or what's going on somebody is also uh refusing to let something go okay so i definitely feel like there is a situation here where yes somebody is definitely still holding on to something um 10 of wands can also mean accomplishments responsibility um or even a burden so a lot of you may have reached a certain accomplishment in your life a lot of you um you know may be I'm going to say in a more positive form at this time. But I do feel like, you know, when you see uh, the Ten of Wands, when you see that the, the burden that this person is holding, so somebody is still very much, fire signs, holding a burden. So holding on to something that's not serving you, that's pretty much what that's saying. It's also, too, indicating that a person who has already struggled in life, okay, and has succeeded, Okay, so somebody has definitely struggled for quite some time to get through something, to get over something or over someone, but now they have finally succeeded. So it feels like finally you're going to be able to exhale. Um, although there's not any um, near destination that possibly shows in this card, even though there's a uh, something in the a building in the background there, you see it. But it, even though it shows that something's finished at the same time the hardest part and of, of life struggle for here or for you or for them is, is needing a place to relax a place to where they can reveal their success um now finding a place of their own so maybe you were with a partner maybe you were holding on to things maybe you finally released something and let it go but in fact it is now going to be time uh that you're probably looking for another place to go. Maybe you temporarily stayed with a family member. Maybe you temporarily crashed with a friend. But now you're feeling like it's time to finally move forward and get your own space. Okay? Um, next, I have Earth Signs. Earth Signs, you have, in fact, the Eight of Swords. Your card for today, Earth Signs, is the Eight of Swords. Someone is still feeling quite trapped in a situation. Um, even feeling like the victim. 
definitely feeling like they're, you're the victim in something or like you can't get out of something. But the truth is you can. You absolutely can with the eight of swords. And this is something that's not really holding you. It has created an illusion in your mind that, let me pick the card up again. It's creating an illusion in your mind that you're feeling this way, trapped, bound, stuck, like you can't make a decision. This may mean for some of you, not a relationship, but in life in general, you are feeling stuck somehow. You are feeling like you don't know which direction to go. You're feeling like you're not sure if this career move is the right move or if you should choose an opposite direction. For some of you, it may be as a location. Maybe I should move here, but I'm not really sure. I'm kind of stuck on making a decision whether I should take this house, not take it. Take this apartment, not take it. Um, buy this car, not buy it. So a lot of you are kind of like a Libra where you can't make up your mind too good, even though this is not air signs. Um, but I do get with the Eight of Swords, you know, this is definitely uh, someone who is definitely feeling like they, you know, They want to use logic. They want to be intelligent. They want the truth. They have the ambition. This person is very strong with the ambition. Um, there's communication that needs to be had or wants to be had. I'm also getting that, you know, this card is associated with air. So maybe you're involved with an air party. Maybe you're involved with it with somebody from the uh, element of air. I, I feel like there's definitely power and, and intellect going on here. Um... The swords are definitely a double-edged sword. It is a double-edged sword. It can be used both for good and evil. That's what it means when you say double-edged sword. It means there's a, a pro and a con. There's a, a negative and a positive. Okay? Um, I feel like, you know, for some of you in the past, your partner has used these swords for harm, to hurt you, um, to stab your heart, to make you feel a certain way. Somebody was kind of abusive. They may have been harsh to you. They may not have showed sympathy to you. Maybe when you were ill. Maybe when you were sad. Maybe when you asked for attention and they, they continued to neglect you um, or mistreat you. So I do feel like a lot of you earth signs have dealt with, with the eight of swords. And I feel like, you know, you're soon going to come out of that. You're soon going to be able to look around and realize, you know what? This is some bullshit. I shouldn't have been trapped like this. I didn't have to stay here this long in this position. I really can get out. I can undo this, okay? I can move away. I'm free to go if I want to. You know, they, they can't keep me here. A lot of you may feel like you're stuck in a situation due to finances because maybe you depend on your partner for finances. That's no reason to stay. That's no reason to stay. Go to even a woman's shelter. They will help you to get away. Finances are nothing. Doesn't matter. You will be able to get away from the situation. All right, so so be patient with that because there's definitely a lot of things coming for that reason. Um, the next thing I have is the uh, water signs. And with water signs, let me pick up the card for water signs. And water signs, I get the Eight of Pentacles. So water signs, either you are so busy at work and only focused on work right now and your money. Definitely focused on work and your money. But I definitely feel like a lot of you too... Um, water signs, you have put a lot of work into something, but yet you haven't gotten any of the results, um, or you're still waiting on the results because I don't feel like your partner was willing to put in any work. I, I definitely get that with this man who's, you know, etching his stars in, in the, um, pentacles itself. I feel that this person is completely focused and totally absorbed on what they're doing. But at the same time, this person is isolating themselves. They're just, like I said, water signs, you are just focusing on your job, on your careers, on your money, on important things. There's nothing wrong with it, but you're isolating. You're becoming the hermit. You're, you're not getting out and socializing and doing things that you need to do. I also feel like, you know, a lot of you are very proud of the work that you're doing. And a lot of you, your, your bosses or supervisors are very proud of the work that you perform. But I also feel like, you know... This is, there's more than this. There's more than this, okay? Water signs. There is more than this. A lot of you trying to isolate from certain distractions so that you can fully concentrate on yourself and your money right now. And I get that. For a temporary period, I get that. But sooner or later, you're going to come out of that shell. You're going to need move need to move forward and you need to make a better decision now for yourself. 
I don't feel like a lot of you water signs are wanting to go backwards in a situation. I feel like you're wanting to leave the past where it is and move forward. So with that being in mind for today, I definitely feel that this is a very strong vibration for you. I also feel like that this could be a very powerful move for you, staying focused on your job, stay, getting yourself and your finances caught back up to where they need to be. Um, some of you are also, while you're working, listening to meditation, uh, trying to ground yourself, trying to keep your mind occupied. Even when you go home, I feel like you may keep to yourself, yes, you get something to eat, yes, you may get a shower, um, yes, you may do something around the house or outside for a little bit, and then that's it. You're laying on a couch watching TV and calling it a night. Uh, some of you are waking up in the middle of the night, turning off the TV, and then finally going to bed 2 or 3 in the morning. So for some of you, this is pretty much your daily routine. But things are going to change. So water signs, uh, be aware. Somebody's coming into your life. Something's coming towards you. So this is what I pick up for today. Um, keep delivering the best version of you. Uh, with your job. I feel like it's very important. I also feel like sometimes things could get a little overwhelming for you. Water signs, pay attention to that. But for the most part, the efforts that you undertake, you will be able to control. And there's a possibility that there'll be uh, a lot of things that you need to address in a certain situation. But once you face your fears and address things you need to address, then they can go away. But until you address them, they can't go away. So stay strong, okay? Um, Hard work is definitely essential. It's important. But you still need to find balance. Balance is for every sign, especially you water signs. You need balance, okay? It's kind of like picturing yourself out on a surfboard in the water. If you don't have balance, you're going to fall off, right? So even water signs need balance, okay? So with that being said, that's the short daily I have for today. Don't forget, 6 p.m. tonight, I'm doing my mini reads that are $50 uh, if you're interested. And... Um, I may decide to do additional three sticks for $25. Uh, also, stay tuned for tomorrow night. Uh, we will be getting messages from heaven. So I will be working on my mediumship tomorrow night. Um, and that too uh, will be uh, a mini read for those who are looking for some mediumship work to be done. I will be doing uh, tomorrow night. On Friday night, $50 mediumship readings uh, with my uh, heaven cards, with my those from heaven cards, and um, also giving you personal messages. So if you're interested, and the PayPal, when you make the payment through friends and family, through friends and family, or I'll return the payment, please. Um, IRS has tackled me enough. So through friends and family, when you make the $50 payment, whether that's for tonight's mini read at 6 p.m. or whether or not your $50 payment is for tomorrow for messages from heaven, if that's the case and you're interested in the mediumship mini read uh, for tomorrow, please put the $50 mediumship, okay, for Friday p.m. Otherwise, $50 for mini reads tonight, Thursday, 6 p.m. Got it? Thursday, 6 p.m. mini reads. Friday, mediumship reads, 6 p.m. Okay? So please make sure you put exactly what it is you're paying for. I'm not going to guess. If you don't put it in there, I'm not going to guess. I told you the times to be here, 6 p.m. tonight, 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Tonight is regular mini reads. Okay? Tomorrow night is messages from heaven, somebody you've been wanting to ask something, somebody you've been wanting to get an answer from, okay? That's tomorrow night, messages from heaven. Tonight is regular mini reads, your relationship, your work, your career, your health, your finances. That's tonight, $50 mini read through PayPal only, friends and family. And again, please put what your $50 is for. Is it for the regular mini read or is it for the mediumship? Okay, regular mini read is Thursday, 6 p.m. Mediumship read is Friday, 6 p.m. Both $50. Okay, very important to do that, and it will be live. If you miss your live, you'll have to play it back to watch it because I won't be redoing anything. All right, get them in because as soon as I get enough of them that I can't handle anymore, I'll put a block on. So please, please, please get your appointment set up. 
because I am now making the list. I already have at least eight people for my mini reads tonight. So if you want to get in on a mini read, I suggest you do it now. All right? Have a great day, you guys, and see you tonight.